Hi, good to see you everybody. I am Farhani and together with me are my incredible teammates Shaza Ishrak and Akram. We are beyond elated to present to you our innovation called Megasonic Iris Project. Let's have Shaza to explain her part. In the making of Megasonic Iris Project, we attempt to address matters that visually impaired people frequently struggle with. And this is as such matters which have been overlooked, such as thin obstacles which could be missed by walking suits. For instance, high signboards within human's average height which are out of the range that could be detected by walking sticks. Not to mention, visually impaired people had to depend heavily on their memories of every placement of things such as house appliances, as those things are not easily accessible by walking sticks. In fact, most visually impaired people require it to be accompanied by their relatives and friends to guide them whenever they are outside, as many unforeseen obstructions may occur. Therefore, Macassonic Iris Project aims to support the visually impaired people in which it complements the use of traditional stick. This project inspires to boost the user's confidence with every step, allowing them to be more independent and to be able to provide the chance for these people to move around with ease wherever they want to go. Thus, the materials we use for our smart sticks are firstly, walking stick, buzzer, maker uno, ultrasonic sensor, lipo power shield and lipo battery, and lastly, jumper wires. Meanwhile, for our smart lenses, firstly, we use glasses frame, buzzer, ultrasonic sensors, rechargeable battery, cables, and lastly, switch. So, in both the stick and glasses, we set up the limitation of the distance in the sensors to make it fully functional and the intensity of the buzz will increase as the sensor approaches the obstacle. A specific range of distance is determined so as to show the level of alertness in the form of intensified vibration or ringing sound. Hence, the nearer the obstacle, the intensified the vibration or ringing of the buzzer. Our project consists of rather accessible and inexpensive components which make affordable and user-friendly device. The main components consist of ultrasonic sensor, buzzer, Arduino Uno, and rechargeable battery, more specifically, lithium polymer battery. So how does things mechanically work? Started with electronic sensor, which is ability to detect obstacle in front and up front of consumer within 2 meters range, it will transfer the input to Arduino Uno for coding, which is later on transmitted to buzzer to ring and vibrate. Why do we choose Arduino Uno? Arduino Uno acts as a microcontroller in our device due to less complexity. Less complexity means less to hack, and less to crash. It's also fairly low, low cost and a ready to use structure. Arduino Uno also comes in handy for interfacing sensors, which is used in our project. The lithium polymer battery is a widely used in mobile devices, power banks, very thin laptop computers, portable media players, wireless controllers for video games consoles, wireless PC peripherals, and many others. As much as the maintenance and usage is the same for the aforementioned devices, it can last for 2-3 to three years with 300-500 to 500 charge cycles. The product is to be of help everywhere, every time the consumer feels they need it. But based on our observation during experimentation of products, our respondents are highly inclined to use the product in an unfamiliar area rather than familiar place such as their home or areas that they frequently go. 
we created this product with concern in mind on how to make sure that the product isn't only consumer friendly but also eco-friendly ever since the united nation introduced the sustainable development goals we are prone to focus on sdg3 which is good health and well-being sdg7 affordable and clean energy sdg10 to reduce inequalities and sdg13 which is climate action these goals are basically due to our product that is highly efficient to make sure the inclusiveness of stakeholder in socials and affordable device for all and we are proud to say that the battery used for this project is free of harmful metals such as cadmium, lead and mercury which makes it environmental friendly. Inclusivity We are positive that the commercialization of our product would make the stakeholder feel included in the socials and they are able to enjoy life. That's what's important. All in all, Mekasoni Iris project isn't just a device of electronics, but rather a device of inclusiveness. With that, we conclude our presentation. Thank you.